Hey guys, good morning. I got my 30 minute ring done today and I did my workout in honor of the 9-11 um, folks that we lost, both in the towers and the servicemen and women that fought for our freedoms. And I'm just very really thankful that I get to be safe and be in my house today. And I realize that freedom isn't free, so this is for all of you. They're reading the names and stuff of all the people. Look how big those bells are. Wow. All that stuff just makes me really emotional because <clears throat> I just can't even imagine. Like, I deal with anxiety of, like, things like this happening, like, a lot. Like, you know, some people say, oh, you can't live in fear, but I tend to live in fear, you know, of these things. And I can't even imagine the anxiety that all those people on all those planes were feeling when they literally, like, you, you have no control when you get on a plane anyway, you know, your trust goes into the pilot and the, you know, the flight crew and the people and all that stuff. But I just can't even imagine the anxiety that they felt when these people literally overtook, um, you know, the plane and stuff. I just can't even imagine. Um, and I was watching some of the, uh, different specials they had this week, this weekend and this week and stuff. And it was just insane. And, um, you know, how much hurt people have gone through and stuff. And it's just really, it's really sad. Um, you know, but I'm glad that, like, they have different protections now. Like, before, you could, um, you know, get right up to the plane. But now, uh, they have those big doors that close and stuff. And, um, you know, now you can't get into where the pilots are and stuff. So, that's one good thing. And they have a lot of screening at the airports and stuff. So, you know, ho hopefully something like this never happens again. Um, but I just can't believe it because a lot of the news people were saying that, you know, it was a sunny day just like this one. Kind of cool but kind of warm at the same time. And I just, uh, I can't believe it. And it just makes me sad that people want to cause havoc for other people so and I can't believe it's been 20 years I was only four <laughs> I was four years old and I was in preschool when this happened so so crazy like just so sad and so scary and so just heartbreaking hey guys so it is 12 12 p.m. And, um, I was just turning off the TV for a little while, um, and I know that's a luxury because some people can't, like, just, like, turn away from things that happened in their life, um, but it got a little too heavy for me, so I just turned off the TV and I was reading some of that Hocus Pocus book, um, the one where you have to read and highlight, and it just got to be too much. I got too tired um, to do it. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to stick with strictly audiobooks for now. So, yeah. Because it's just, like, too much. But then, like, I can't justify Audible either because... You guys see, I read like four books a month. But let me know if you guys have like another subscription that you guys like where you guys like books. I don't know. I don't know. And like I'm not one to like buy them because like I read them once and I'm like done. So if only there was like a book sharing app that was like all audiobooks and you could get like unlimited that would be super nice 
Um, but I think my mom and I are going to go down to this fair to get like some fair food for lunch. I don't know. Anyways, um, hey guys, it's like 2.05 p.m. and uh, we went to a little town slash fall festival uh, thing that one of the local churches was putting on. And we got some cinnamon donuts that I'm excited to have with a cup of coffee when I get home. Um, my mom got some Peach cobbler, peach, what'd you get, peach cobbler? Yeah. My mom got peach cobbler for my nonny, and uh, I had a fried dough, and it was all fair food, it was very good. Um, and they had like little vendors and stuff, but we didn't, but we didn't eat any of that stuff. And so now, we're headed to my sister's house because She's working and so is Nolan. So we need to get Remy and have her come up for a little bit. So, whoa. I'm gonna hold those guys? Yes, please. So we are on our way to go get Remy right now. Oh, oh, okay. Go. Step over. Step over. Nope. Nope, she's gonna try again. Come on, Rem. Uh, you're a good girl. Stay there. Sit down. Sit over here. No. Remy, no. Get back. Get back. Remy. <laughs> Get back in there. Come on, Rem. Good girl. Whoa. Sit down. Sit Please. down. Sit down, Remy. I'm going to roll up that window. <laughs> Remy, oh, oh yeah, good so girl, so good girl. You are in the front seat. Watch your head. <laughs> you guys, oh look up to him. Oh, my God. Sit down, Remy. <laughs> She's going to jump out the window. You just rolled it up halfway. Remy, hi, Rem. Sit down. Remy, sit. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Where are we going? Hi, Rem. Big girl. We saw a newfie there, Rem, but you were taller. It's like she can't sit, but it's... No. Why would you want to bring your dog to a hot fair? So you can show her off. No. 